Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Walton Week. I'm um, sorry for the confusion. I know I told you last week that because I was staying home because I had to work, that there would be another few videos, but honestly, um, Friday, I had a good video planned, but, um, my video editor works that way. If you delete the actual video, then the whole project gets deleted, and I didn't feel like refilming. Um, and then Saturday, honestly, I was just so tired after work that I didn't end up filming. So I apologize, um, and I am working this weekend, but I do promise, well, just how Sunday, but I do promise that you will get four videos this week. As for Grace Hall, I didn't film yesterday, sorry, but, um, you will probably get, you'll probably get, you'll get, hopefully get three videos, guarantee of two, hopefully three. Um, and, but now that I know that I can now post shorts, that is a help, because now I can let you guys know about my uploading schedule, and give you a hint for what videos you're gonna get this week now that I can upload shorts, because YouTube finally decided to let people upload shorts, I guess. Which is good, because usually, I mean, posts were fine, but... I can't do those about 10,000 subscribers, but shorts are good now. So anyway, um, Molten Week. So, um, as I was thinking about Molten Week, I'm like, okay, what videos can I do? Because it's actually a little bit easier for me to come up with Molten Week now because I am watching a video. I'm well, not watching the video. I'm restarting, starting to rewatch this Molten series. But um, that's kind of on hold now because we're trying to get through the Brave Bunch before we continue with the Waltons. But um yes, I, but I did end up coming with some con some um content for the wall, which is good. Um so we will start with this episode and this episode is well, I guess it's not really an episode. This video is on how the Waldens are a stereotypical American family because in reality they are. Each of the children has its really own stereotype. And if you think about John and Livia, they are what Earl Hamner considers to be the perfect parent. You know, they they do disagree at times, but they never get into really big fights. And they do try to do what's best for their children. And Olivia is protective and everything. Just like your typical American mother should be. Then again, I'm not American. I'm Canadian. But, um... Well, this is an American show. Most of the shows I talk about are American. Actually, all of them, except for... Roach Avenue, When Calls the Heart, and... Um, Heartland. Um, and John is just your typical, you know, father. He's working to try and raise a family, a large family, also trying to support his parents. And, again, he always is, he's always there with open arms to comfort his children. And he may not be, um, the most religious person in the world, but he does believe somewhat that God is good and God does care for his family. So, which is nice, um... Let's get to the children. Each of the children really has their own stereotype. Um, John Boy really does have oldest sibling syndrome. Well, I mean, I'm the oldest in my family, but not the way John Boy is, because John Boy is the oldest of seven. I am the oldest of two. There's a difference. Um, of course, now we always are trying to be the four our younger siblings, try to comfort them when they need them, and also, you know, try to let them know that we don't necessarily hate them all the time. Um,. And John Boy does that quite a lot. But John Boy, he's different because he always is there for his siblings when they need him. Um, but if they do interrupt his brain, he does get a little annoyed. And he does try to find some privacy because, I mean, it's hard to find a privacy privacy when you're living in a house with 11 people. Honestly, I mean, sometimes it's hard to find privacy in a house with 4 people, but I don't just need privacy that much. Um, but John Boy definitely has older sibling syndrome because he always, he is trying to be the first siblings, but he's also trying to pursue his own dreams. And sometimes his siblings don't think about just annoying him so much that he just needs a break and he blows his top. Now, Jason, now I'm just, the way I'm doing this, I'm doing this after, off of the first season because this is really the season where it all takes off and you can see that. After that, it kind of is still there, but it's just a little bit abandoned. Um, now, Jason, he has the... He always is trying to, like, 
compete with us and he isn't really trying to compete with John Boy. He does want to, you know, do the same things as John Boy. Like when John Boy goes hunting, he wants to go hunting because he wants to, you know, like, there are some things that the second y youngest boy, second oldest son can do. Like, he's not the always waiting in line kind of person. And we do see in that one episode when he is in university that he's out, he's trying to do university, he's trying to do the the band that he's in, he's trying to do the ham stuff, he's trying to he's trying to sing hams, he's trying to write his own music, he's trying to do everything because he believes that John, because he sees John Boy, like John Boy runs a newspaper, well actually I don't think he runs a newspaper at that point, but he, he does, he does university, he does writing, he does everything, and John, John Boy, no, Jason just feels like he needs to stick up, he needs to, you know, add up to John Boy and be like John Boy. We do see that in um, the episode the first day as well. So Jason definitely has, you know, like, the, he's the typical younger brother who's trying to measure up to his older brother. Now we come to Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen does have the oldest girl, like, thing where she's, like, always taking, she always, whenever she goes to the store, she always has the youngest Oh my goodness, you scared me! She always has the, um, she always has the younger ones with her when she's going to the store the f first season. But she always feels like Walden Mountain is just a small town and I'm never going to own out to everything. I'm going to be stuck here forever. Which is true. She usually does, she actually doesn't end up staying there forever, but, um... She does, and she feels like, you know, she wants to do something great. Like, she wants to be in the movie. She wants to be a star. She wants to see the world. Um, she just doesn't really seem content with her life, which, I guess, um, being oldest girl, I guess you get that. Um, I don't, I guess, sometimes I do, I guess, which is probably why I do things that, like, I try to do more than I can handle sometimes. Um... And it's actually kind of funny because Mary Ellen is the one of the biggest streamers in the family who actually ends up really not doing much. Just being a nurse and a doctor in the small town. And then we come to Erin who is the middle child and we can clearly see that. She's always trying to get people's attention by, you know, telling on people and trying to look pretty because she is the middle child. She's not quite the oldest so she doesn't quite have as much responsibility as them. But she's not quite the youngest, so she doesn't quite get all the attention and the help that she sometimes wants. She doesn't get the attention and the help, so she tries to get attention by making it for herself. Which I guess middle kids do. Youngest kids do that too, I guess sometimes. Even older kids, I don't know. I'm just going off the stereotypes that I have observed. Then we come to Ben, who is the high achiever. Ben's always trying to achieve things like his siblings. We see in the episode The Star where Ben is looking at the ribbons and he sees that everyone has a ribbon for something except him. And he's trying to do things so that he can be have those achievements that his siblings do. It's like that one Brady Bunch episode with Bobby wants an award, but he never gets one. Um, and we do see that, like, he does, he is always trying to amount to his older siblings and his younger ones, too. Oh my goodness, you scared me again! Stop doing that! <laughs> I'm trying to. Um, and we do see, like, um, there was this one episode where he's trying to be, like, as strong as one guy because he thinks that this girl likes strong guys when really she doesn't. Um, and Ben, he does, he's a little feisty, gets into a few fights, does get into trouble a little bit, so, but he is, he tries, he's trying to, I guess, be good and be, and have, like, like, people, like, you know, recognize Ben for something, like, being the best speller in his grade, or his class, like, in that one, ep in the episode of the star, or, you know, being the best at this because he feels like he, if someone knows him as that, then it won't, then people won't forget him. Uh, Jim Bob, Jim Bob 
um, definitely has the youngest brother syndrome. Like, he's, his brother's always a picking on him, and he's always trying to, like, tell him to stop, but he can't really do anything about it because they're bigger than, bigger and stronger than him. Um, and he's usually hanging around with Elizabeth just because his brothers are so much older than him that he feels a little distant from them. Like, he's, like... Ben's like at least four, at least four years older than him. Actually, maybe only three, but I don't know. The age is a little weird. And that's a little bit like has been. And we do see that, like Jim Bob, when he is a teenager, he does sort of go off on his own and try to do things. So Jim Bob is a re is really a loner. Um. And he does hang out with Elizabeth quite a lot, because him and Elizabeth's relationship, they're, they're the two youngest. They stick together to try and get away from the oldest, I guess. Um, and like Jim Bob, he does, he, his brothers do pick on him for quite a bit, and then, and even when he is a teenager, I think they still pick on him, but that age, he's actually at an age where he can do something about it and know that they're just teasing and then we come to Elizabeth, who is definitely the youngest. She always tries to be like one sibling sometimes. So there's this one episode in season five where she tries to be like John Boy. Ends up causing the whole gossip thing in town. Um, she does try to be a boy once. Um, she tries to be like Aaron and Mary Ellen. She tries to be like all the other siblings because she's the youngest. And she doesn't feel like she'll ever be herself and she has to be like one of the other siblings but in reality they're all so different and they all amount to different things they all have different characteristics john boy's the author Jim Bo jason's the musicians so they're both into you know the arts mary ellen's into medicine that that's great um erin who doesn't really know what she wants to do at first ends up going into business and enjoys it ben Ben, you think he would go into business because he keeps going through different business ventures as a kid. But he actually ends up working in his father's mill and he enjoys that. Jim Bob wanted to be a pilot. Um, until he found out that he didn't have the correct eyesight. Then he's like, hey, you know what, the airco needs mechanics. I can be a mechanic. So he still was able to do what he loved even though he had something that, over that he had a barrier that was stopping him from that. And then Elizabeth, she just ends up being herself. And then the grandparents, of course, they're typical grandparents, you know, they're, they like, tease each other, fight a little bit, but they really do care about each other. We can see that quite a lot. And they really do actually care about their grandkids a lot, because Grandma's always giving John Boy advice about his writing. Grandpa's always taking the boys hunting, telling them very tall tales. And Grandma's always teaching you know, Aaron, Mary Ellen, and Elizabeth, how to be women, but still be strong and tough. And that is how the Waldens are a stereotypical family. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, and like I said, stay updated. Um, I'll p hope now that I can do shorts, I'll be updating you more and more about my schedules. Um, but stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will be on Grandma Walton. Alright, see you.